The DeSoto Plymouth Dealers, from coast to coast, in every state in the Union, present Groucho Marx in You Bet Your Life. And now, here he is, the one, the only... Louder, please. Oh, that's me. Well, here I am again with $1,500 for one of our couples. If any of them say the secret word, the, buck, the duck will fly down and pay him $100. Oh, the duck is here already, huh? <laughs> the secret word tonight, the, the word is hand. Okay, beat it. Welcome, welcome to your bet your life. Say the secret word and you'll divide $100. It's a common word, something you always have with you. Mrs. Ruth Mitchell, that, that's you. Uh, where, where are you from? I'm Magnum Company, at, uh, in Los Angeles. Oh, Magnum's, huh? You were born in Magnum's department store? I didn't know they delivered, huh? <laughs> I presume you were born in the infants' department, huh? I, I meant, uh, where, were you, where are you from originally? Well, I came here from Denver. Uh, Denver? When I was three years old. Is that so? Mm -hmm. By yourself? <laughs> no, with my mother. Oh. Where was your father while all this went on? Well, he had come on ahead. Oh, I see. Do you do you have a husband? Yes, I do. You do. Well, Been lucky. married to him for thirty-one years. Really? Mm -hmm. well, you don't look old enough to. Oh, I'm a I grandmother. thought you were thirty-one. You were a grandmother. Uh huh. I have three grandchildren. Is that so? Paul uh, Sales, huh? Where's your home, Paul? In Washington. Washington? Another homeless Democrat, eh? No, in the state of Washington. Oh, well, Washington's in an awful state right now. You know. <laughs> what part of Washington are you from? From Tudor, Washington. Uh, I beg your pardon. What was that again? From Tudor. Well, why do you tootle? There's nobody on the track here. <laughs> Please. Nobody's tootled at me for years, you know. Well, stop tootling, Paul, and tell me tell me where you're from. Huh? I'm from Tootle. We have a population up there of about 50 men and hundreds and thousands of deer and elk and game. What, what sort of work do you do up there? I work for Warehouse Timber Company. I'm in the saw sharpening department. Saw sharpening? That's right. We sharpen the saws to cut the trees with. Oh. Is that a pretty big outfit, the uh, Weyerhauser or whatever? It's one called? of the biggest in the world. Is that so? Never heard of them, huh? You haven't heard much. No. <laughs> you know, there's a quiz later, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're jeopardizing this woman's grandchildren, huh? <laughs> I want to ask you, uh, why do you keep cutting the trees down if you're so crazy about them? Riddle me that. Oh, so you'll have a chair to sit on? <laughs> Well, I have a chair to sit on. Why do you have to keep on cutting the trees now? Well, you've got to have a house to live in. You've got to have paper to read. You've got to have doors, windows, everything that's made out of wood. You've got to have them. If it wasn't for that, you wouldn't have all these articles. I live in a cave. <laughs> well, you've got to have a door. We'll make a wooden door for it. No, I use a rock at the front door. <laughs> and I write hieroglyphics on the, on the wall, on the stone. <laughs> After a while, I'll show you my basket, huh? <laughs> not, not you. I'm talking to Paul. <laughs> you keep out of this. You're a grandmother. <laughs> well, you may be a lumberjack, old boy, but I, I'm far from stumped. <laughs> now, what are you doing for conservation? Isn't well, it true that our forests are being denuded? No, it's right? not. It is not. Absolutely not, not. We are going all out for conservation. We plant trees as we cut them. The wind blows the seed all over. What do you mean? You plant the same tree that you cut? <laughs> no, no. We plant seeds, or natural reforestation is, comes from the seed of trees that are still standing. We cut in blocks. We'll leave a block of timber standing, and that will be reforested on what we have cut. If that doesn't do the job, the squirrels, they help us out. They'll go out and pack a little seed around and dig down and bury it so they'll have something next winter. Sometimes they forget it, and that grows into a tree. Also, Squirrel grows into a tree? Well, I don't think so, but his seed does. And they think those squirrels are nuts, huh? All right. And we can't get them growing that way. Why, we go out and send a crew out. We raise little seedlings. We send a crew out, and they plant these one at a time all over the sacred that doesn't seed naturally. Are you pretty handy with a saw? Oh, I think so. I've held the world championship with a hand saw for the last 21 years. Wait a minute. I 
happen to have some here for just the, such a The duck has been playing the market and it and is broke, so uh, Cameron luckily had some money left over from Stanford University <laughs> that he won in a crooked football bet. So here's fifty dollars for you and fifty for you, Paul. <laughs> you said the secret word. I forgot what was it. What was it? Ham. 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 No, Congratulations. <laughs> well, tell us about this saw thing, huh? You say you won the world championship with a handsaw? That's right. Well, that, that's quite an achievement, isn't it, huh? Well, uh, we think so. That is our... How long does it take to saw one of those big logs in two? And what is the circumference of one of those logs? My best record this year was on a 30-inch log. It took me one minute and 17 seconds to cut that in half. <laughs> You saw it in, uh, in one minute and 15 seconds? One minute and 17 seconds. Oh. I saw it a pussy cat the other day. Huh? <laughs> well, Paul, I'm, I'm glad to know that the big lumber companies are doing something to preserve the forest for the future. Because I'm very much interested in conservation myself. That's right. And uh, it's a very important part of our whole heritage, and we should take good care of it. But the time has come to play your bet your life. Now, you win more than our other couples, and you'll get a chance at the big money. In the race for the $1,500, Lieutenant and Mrs. Pusis won $90, and the secret word is hand. Now, let's see how much money you can make. Uh, you selected the animal kingdom, and remember, the more the question is worth, the harder it is. We start you off with a $100 bankroll, and when you miss a question, you lose half of whatever you've got. 60 60 60 All right. What is the name of the small lizard that is able to change its color to match its surroundings? Feel a monster? Sh oh. Talk it over. Chameleon. Oh, that's right. Chameleon, I think, is the way it's called. You know, I have $160. Now, you can stop any time you want. You don't have to go ahead, you know. And remember, this time before you talk up, one answer between you. Okay. Or I may have to chop you down. What is it, 70, did you say? All right. What is another name for the one humped camel? One. A dromedary? That's right. A dromedary is right. You now have $230. You can quit. You can go ahead. 80. 80? Okay. What is the word for the young of geese? What are baby geese called? Gosling. Gosling's is right. You now have $310. 100. 100. All right. What kind of animal is a merino? M-E-R-I-N-O. Come on, time's a waste. If you don't know, take a guess. It's a reptile rat. No, it's a sheep. Sheep? Oh. Well, you lost half of your bankroll, so you wind up with one hundred and fifty-five. Well, that's not too bad. Thanks and good luck from the Desoto Plymouth Deal. Thank you, Doctor. Now, here's the winning couple, Groucho, the lumberjack, and his partner, all set for the Desoto Plymouth one thousand five hundred dollar question. Well, Paul, here's your chance to chop down one hundred and fifteen hundred dollars here. Here we go. Let's see how well you remember recent history. In January of 1952, a freighter sank off the southwest coast of England after a heroic 12-day effort by our captain, Henry Carlson, to save her. For $1,500, what was the name of Captain Carlson's ship? Talk it over. Don't you remember the All right, what's the answer you two have decided upon? Take a guess. Um, strag uh, the strat uh, straglion it's a Norwegian name. It's the, the Flying Enterprise. Ant Enterprise. <laughs> well, that means the big question next week will be worth $2,000. Well, you lost a big money, but uh, how much did they win the quiz, Joe? Well, they won $155 in the quiz. Well, congratulations, and thanks Thank to you. both of you Thank and you. to all of our contestants on the show tonight. 